we have been looking at Nugget for success. And it has been a wonderful time in the presence of the Lord. We've talked about the role of the people around us, how important they are. And right now, we are centering on our person. Because success is always a product of we, not I. We. The greater the strength of the we, the greater the height of the, of the, of the success. We. We. We, not I. So we've checked, we've talked about people, the kind of people we need to surround, how to select and all that. Draw inspiration from the life of our Lord Jesus Christ. And now, right now, we are looking at our person. And precisely, we are on the subject of the kind of mind that we possess. Because when we look at Proverbs chapter 4 and verse 20, Proverbs chapter 4, verse 20, we discover that life begins with the kind of heart that you possess. In King James Version, it says, My son, attend to my word, incline thy ear unto my saying. Let them not depart from thy eyes, keep them in the midst of thy heart. For they are life unto those that find them, and health to all their flesh. Keep thy heart, keep thy height, that thy heart with all diligence, for out of it are the issues of life. I love what uh, Message Bible translation, I like the way he translated or expanded that uh, this very scripture. He said, keep vigilant over your heart. He said, that, that is where life starts. That is where life starts. He said, don't talk out of both sides of your mouth. We'll come back to that. Now he said, avoid careless banters, white lie, gossip. Mm. He said, keep your eyes straight. Ahead, ignore all side so. All sides show distraction. Watch your step. And the road will stretch out smooth before you. Look neither right nor left. Leave evil in the dust. May the Lord bless the reading of his word this morning. Now, uh, you will, that means there are, it is a, that is where life starts. So that means there are different kind of mind or different kind of heart that you find among the people of God, among humanity. There are different kind of heart. There are different kind of mind. And according to Philemon, the book of Philemon, you will discover that the, the Bible put it very clear that without your mind, I can do nothing. The book of Philemon. Without your mind, I can do nothing. So don't, I want you to take note, I may be exchanging the word heart with mind as we go along. So that means we are going to look, we are going to point out different kind of mind or different kind of heart. And the Bible that we have just read now made it clear that from the heart of a man, that is where his life starts from. So that means the variety we see among humanity is a function of different kind of heart that we possess. So in a nutshell, the heart of a man is what defines his destiny in a way. Define his destiny or the, realize, or the realization 
of the kind of destiny that you see around him. Yeah, it is true, take note of this, that God said, God said, I have a plan for you. He said, I have a thought towards you. This thought is not of evil, but of good that you might have an expected end. It is. It, it means there is a well-defined end for every child of God. And the end, we all know it. It is a glorified end that God has in his thought for every man. Now, you may now ask me, why are many lives does not reflect that, that glorious life? Now, it means what God has for you, you need a matching heart or mind to arrive there. Yeah, God has a glorious plan for you and me. He says his thought towards you is not evil. See, the law thought of peace, not of evil, to give you an expected end. So God has already defined your end. And according to Romans chapter 8, from verse 28 downward there, the people he predestinated, he called, the people he called, he justified, the people he justified, he glorified. So every believers, every human on earth, in the mind of God, he has set to for Ross a glorious end. But you see, it is not a one-man job. God has his role. We have our role. He said, these people have I formed for myself that they might show forth the, they might show forth his praise or his glory. He said, You are the light of the world. He said, it is set on high that cannot be he. He said, Let your light so shine that men may see and glorify your father. That is true. But are everybody or not living a glorious life? No. What, may, what, 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 what happened to the thought of God that is not automatically reflective in the life of a man? This is what, this is the, the bridge or this is the connecting rod of God's thought with our life, God's thought and our destiny. Now, this is the, 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 the factor that makes a difference. This is God's thought. This is God's mind. But what kind of mind do you possess? Because he said, that is where life starts. God has intended a glorious life for every one of us. But the journey to this glorious life, therefore, begins with the kind of heart you possess. The kind of heart that you possess and we could see some hearts kind of hearts here number one the heart that talk from what that talk out from both sides of mouth hmm. there is a heart like that they talk well out of both sides of mouth and you know the bible said by your word you are condemned by your word you are justified so the the there, there, there is a heart, there is a kind of heart. There are people who possess the heart of talking out from both sides of their mouth. They never stand for one thing. They are in there. I, you have to be single-minded to arrive at a single destination. There are mouths that talk from both sides of the mouth. I will come back to this. There are minds that talk carelessly. That's the second mind you see there. Avoid careless banters. There are minds that talk carelessly. White lies and gossip. This is another kind of mind. It's another kind of mind on its own. They talk carelessly. They talk carelessly. Hmm. They, they don't. This mouth that talk carelessly and also <clears throat> and also gossip, and they also talk white lies. You see that? Now, when you look at the meaning of the word banter, there, 
uh, uh, the, the word banter there, it means that mind is very playful. It pretends to be, it pretends to be, to be friendly, but he exchange, he, he, he pretend to be uh, uh, gentle. He pretends to be friendly, but in most cases, he has, it, it is a change of teasing remarks. He will make a just remark. He will always try to create humor. He's not always uh, serious. You know, there are people like that. They are very playful. And in most cases, they tease people that there is a kind of mind like that. Praise God. I said, praise God. I, I want you to get what we are trying to say. They are very playful. They, they have a very playful mind. They never take anything serious. And they easily make jests of things. Teasing word. There is a, a mind like that. Now, there is also a mind that never keeps his eyes straight on their goods. He said, keep your eyes straight ahead. This is another kind of mind. Mind or heart that people possess. They are never, they, 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 is, is warning us to keep, he said, keep your eyes straight ahead. They are a mind that are focused and they ignore sideshow and distractions. You see that? Keep your eyes straight ahead of you. Focus. Ignore all sideshow. Ignore all sideshow. There is also the kind of mind that watch its steps. Watch its step. And this kind of mind, and this type of mind, has the advantage of making their road to stretch out smooth before. When you watch where you go, you are likely not to come into trouble. You know, they, they, when we are young, they, our father will always say, watch where you are going. Watch where you are going. Put your eyes on what you are doing. So you can see there is also this, 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 uh, this, uh, this kind of mind. He watch his steps. He examine where he's going. He put in, he take into heavy consideration the move that he's about to make. And he said, this kind of mind has an advantage of the road stretching out smooth before that fellow. That, that kind of mind never look, uh, he never look neither right nor left. He just stay focused. That is a kind of mind, focus. He focus on his assignment. And that kind of heart has an advantage of living, of living evil in the dust. He leaves evil in the dust. He doesn't have time. He doesn't have time. So you can see I have outlined almost uh, more than four or five kind of mind. He say at the heart of man, that is where life starts. And he began to guide us. Now, do, there's a heart that talks from both sides of his mouth. Now, there's another heart that are very careless. They make jests of things. They make white lies. They gossip. There is nothing important. Is another kind of heart. You see that? Now, there is a heart that also stay focused. It also stay focused. That this heart, that it, it was, it was giving us a counsel to arrive at a kind of heart. You see, keep your eyes straight. There is a heart that keep his eyes straight on what he's doing. And ignore all sideshow distractions. All sideshow distractions. And then there is a heart also that watch the steps. He watch the step. He watch the move he will take. He said this kind of heart has an advantage of the road stretching out smooth before you. He thinks before he takes action. This is a kind. So you can see there are different kinds of heart. Or there are different kind of mind, and because there are different kind of heart and different kind of mind, my mind, that is why we have different kind of life. I'm sure that is making meaning to you. That is why we have different kind of 
destination. We have different kind of life because there are different kind of hearts. Now, let's go back to Philemon. Now, you hear what Philemon say. Then you will understand what I'm saying. So, stop blaming your person, getting angry with the kind of person you admire. First of all, diagonize your life to find out what kind of heart or what kind of mind that you possess. <coughs> Excuse me. That is where, you know, most of the time, you, you discover people want to, people hate their who they have become. And they blame everything about their person. But your person was not an emergency. Your person was built by the kind of mind that you possess. Look at what Philemon said, chapter 1 and verse 14. He said, but without thy mind will I do nothing. That the benefit should not be, as it were, of necessity, but willingly. So if you want to correct the person you have become, you have to start the journey from where that life starts from. And it starts from the kind of mind you possess. May the Lord give you understanding. May the Lord help you to appreciate and understand what I'm sharing with you. When you find that you are always in trouble, it means you are a kind of a man or a kind of a woman who possess the kind of heart that never watch her steps. You never watch your steps or you are the kind of a person that talk from both sides of your mouth. Never avoid careless banter. Never avoid white. See, see, you, there are things you can avoid. White lies. Never avoid gossip. So you will always be in trouble. So it is not where you are. It is not the environment you are. It is the kind of the mind you possess. So it boils down to what God said. I lay before you life and death. Make your choice. And he said, but choose life. I advise you to choose life. Life is never wrong with you because of your location. There are people who have succeeded and had the best of time in an ugly environment. Look at people like Joseph. Look at people like David. So the kind of mind is what determines what you do and who you become by virtue of where you are. David walked his way from the forest to the throne because of the mind he has. Joseph walked his way from slavery and became, and became a stardom in Egypt. Why? He walked his way there by the kind of mind he possessed. If you look, for example, if you look at the mind of Joseph, Joseph is the type that is focused on what he's doing. He avoid careless banter, white lies, gossip. Keep his eye. He kept his eye straight ahead on his goal and ignore all side show distraction. Life is full of distraction. And what some years back God told me, a man that is distracted is the same as a man that never starts. They will have the same results. So you find out many people have activity, but their activity does not justify productivity in their lives. They are moving, but you see, they are available for all sideshow distractions. You saw the woman came in to the life of Joseph. That was a sideshow. That was not part of the dream. And Joseph never yielded. He kept his eyes straight and good. Like Paul said, one thing I do, I forget the past. I press towards the mark. I want you to ask yourself this morning, what kind of heart do I possess? It is your heart that start up your life. Your heart is the starter of your life. It's like the key of a car. When you turn on the engine of the car, 
with the key, the car start, then it begin to move. What kind of mind do you have? What kind of heart do you possess? Very important. Stop judging the product that you are. Judge the heart. Begin to deal with the heart or the kind of mind that you possess. It is your mind that start up your life, guide you to that destination. If you don't like the destination that you are in now, then you just go back to the kind of heart you have and choose another kind of a heart. And when you choose another kind of heart, then you begin to navigate a new life. And you discover you will arrive at a different place. I'm telling you the truth. So we can change, we can change our daily result by changing the kind of heart we possess. Very important. Don't forget, your heart is where life starts. Not where you have arrived. No, your heart is where life starts. So avoid a kind of heart that talk out of both sides of the mouth. Avoid a careless banter, a heart that take interest in careless banter, white lies, gossip. Avoid a heart that is not focused. I believe God with you. I believe God with you that today's message will help you to diagonize your result. And if you don't like what you have become, go back to the basis, take a new heart, and a new heart you are taking will take you to a new destination. May the Lord bless you. May the Lord give you the desire of your heart. Now, when you look at Nehemiah, you will discover what I'm saying here. Nothing is accomplished in life without the kind of heart that is focused. Life is full of sideshow and distractions. Life is full of sideshow and distraction. You can be passing, going to somewhere very important upon to, 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 to attend to a very uh, important appointment of your destiny. And you will just find some few people sitting at the front of their shop at the front of their office or in a matatu, and they will provoke you. So if you have a heart that is talking from both sides, if you have a heart that is not focused, you'll be distracted by them. I remember some years back, and when we talk about distraction, they also present themselves to be important and be urgent. I remember some years back, we were believing God for, for some, we were believing God to hire a hall. And uh, we we be trust God heavily to get the money, and the money came in a miraculous way. And I put this money in the car, driving to to where I'm to sign the lease. And then as we were moving, just on a slow traffic, we were moving. I mean, the traffic was there, and we we're moving. And then somebody hit my car, hit my car at the back, just a slight scratch not really a scratch but there was impact but the impact was not much you cannot even notice it as such however there was a little dent on the car let me put it that way and the man at the back jumped out immediately and started asking me to come down he said please come down you know in other words i'm wrong and i need to uh, you need to come down from the car that was a side show the money with me is so much that no matter the damage in my mind, I can fix this car. But if I get down the car to look at the small damage, and then maybe it was even a setup, I don't know. You need to think fast. You need to think and watch your step before you act. So I just said to myself, even if there is a big dent, I can fix this car later. But if I come down now, what if somebody come and pick this money? Within two, three seconds, so I shook my head, signify that I'm not going to come down. He said, no, please come down. Come down, I've hit you. He said, that's okay, that's okay. As soon as the traffic moved, I moved. I, I didn't come down. I moved and I escaped that side shoe. 
Somebody look at you and say you are stupid. You can't be stupid. You can't be a stupid person at that moment. Ignore it. He's trying to create a side distraction for you so that your distraction, your your distinction will not be a reality. I walk away. Do you know what happened? That car was fixed later. We just I think that in those days with two thousand or three thousand. Now I would have lost hundreds of thousands that is in the car. So you, you need to believe God for quick reflex, quick one to make decision, to watch your step, watch your move. The move you don't watch is the move you will regret later. I prayed from today, you will not regret. Somebody just insults you. You are very stupid. If you are not truly stupid, that does not require an answer. Because that is, his, that is just his opinion. And everybody has opinion, including a madman on the street. That doesn't mean you are stupid. So we need the right heart. Now, if you look at Nehemiah chapter 4 and verse 6, it says something. It says, so we, it says, so build we the wall. And all the wall were joined together unto half thereof. For the people had a mind to walk. For the people have the mind to walk. Now, if you look at the same scripture in uh, Nehemiah, in uh, Message Bible, he said, we kept at it. If you are going to succeed, success does not come overnight. Not even stealing, that, the success of stealing, if there is anything like that, that come and overnight. They will first of all go and do surveillance of where they are going. So, don't stop having the mind that you are going to pick success overnight. No. A durable success requires time. And for you to succeed on anything that requires time, then you have to keep at it. It's not hit and run. You have to keep at it. You have to keep at it. You see, we keep at it. Look at that word. Focus. We keep at it. It may not be palatable. It may not be desirable, it may not be easy, but our action, we, we focus it at succeeding. We keep at it. What did they keep, what did they keep at doing? Repairing, rebuilding the wall. Repairing and rebuilding the wall. Repairing and rebuilding the wall. He said the whole world was joined together and halfway to its intended height because the people had a heart for the work. People want success, but they don't have the kind of heart that success require. For the people had a heart for the work. A heart for the work. They have a heart for the work. You want to be a high any person, you must have a heart that desire to learn something, to keep at doing something for a long time. For a long time. It is preparation that determines manifestation. Many people don't have heart to prepare for things, yet they want manifestation. It doesn't work that way. He said, prepare thy feet without, make it fit for thyself, and have to walk. Build your house. Build your life. So I want to believe God this morning that anxiety is gone. Mystery has been mystified this morning. Never you bother yourself so much about the headache of where you are in life. If you don't like where you are, go back and pick the right heart because that is where life starts from. My father is a man who, who lived for long and therefore you can be sure I was blessed of God to have him around me or to be privileged to be around him. I had a lot of proverb, African proverb from him. And they walk like fire because they always point to the future. And one of the things he kept on saying, he said, the dance that you miss, the dance that you miss by your feet, your ways cannot correct it. Because your ways rely on the strength of your feet. So if you miss a dance with your feet, you cannot correct it with your ways because your ways is relying 
on your feet. And that is how it is in life. Many people wonder whom they have become. Many people are so jealous about other people's result, but they don't know that result is also available if they can go back and change the kind of heart that they possess. How I wish Cain never killed Abel. Because it was not Abel action that made it was not Abel that made God and Abel action that made God not to have respect for his offering. It was the kind of heart that that Cain had that brought the trouble between him and God. They were both prosperous, but he has a heart that is so mean. He has a heart of self. It's a, he had a heart that is not appreciative and ingrate. And you know, even Timothy told us, he said, in the last day, perilous time will come. And one of the reasons, one of the spirit that will power perilous time, he said, it's not a move. It's a function of the kind of heart everybody possesses. Because you discover, I began to mention different kind of behavior. And you know, behavior emanates from heart, the kind of heart you have. He said, many will be unthankful. So Cain had a heart that is not thankful, and that heart start a life of giving God what is lesser than God. You can't force what you give on me. If it's not my size, I'm not going to have respect for it. I wish you just say, oh, this is the part. Oh, Eber, what happened? God didn't have respect for my offering. He had respect for yours. And Eber will have been able to share with him, you know I gave him the best. Because I have a good heart towards God. And that the next the next time Cain will have corrected his error. But he has a heart of jealousy. He has a heart of bitterness. He has a vengeful heart. He has a heart that cannot accommodate other people's success. Even in life, you have seen many people who try to want to succeed. They can't stand other people's success. They must run people down. They must gossip them. Watch them. They never succeed in life. May the Lord be with you. May the Lord give you a right heart for your right desire. It is well with your soul. I believe this hour, these few remarks and few exhortations, we empower your day and empower your week and make the life and the future ahead of you to become colorful. God bless you. If you are there, you are not born again. You don't know Jesus as your Lord and your Savior. And this hour, I also want to allow Jesus to come into your life. So that you'll be able to discern between what is good and what is wrong. If you are willing to do that this morning, I'm ready to pray with you. Say after me, Lord Jesus, thank you for today. I'm a sinner, but today I come unto you. Jesus, forgive me my sin. Blot it out with your precious blood. Wash me, for I believe in my heart and I confess you are the son of the living God. You die, you rose for my sin. I embrace the work of Calvary. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' precious name, amen. If you have done that, there is an address displayed right now on your screen. That is our contact. And the one that follows, the, 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 slide, the slide that follows, is all about where our ministry have representation. If we are close to you, we welcome you for a warm fellowship. And if you are not, please look for a Bible-believing church and begin to go to church. And I'm sure I'm going to hear your testimony. God bless you and prosper you. For the rest of us, what kind of mind do you have towards the kingdom of God? When it comes to touching your resources, it is time to cast your seed. There are mind that hear messages and they walk away. And they wonder why they are not why they are not prosperous. You see, you can't reap dividends where you have not invested. Invest in the kingdom of God. And as that kingdom enlarge, you have your dividend. God bless you and prosper you as you cast your offering. The, the account is displayed right now on your screen. As I pray over your offering, Heavenly Father, Thank you for this rightful mind that desire prosperity and they are sowing the seed. The Bible says, as long as the earth remaineth, seed time and harvest time shall not cease. Lord, let nothing fail in their life. Those who are transferring through bank account, I, I, I ask you, Lord, I ask you, Lord, bless them. Those who are giving through whatever means, Father, reach out unto them. Multiply that seed suit and give them a life full of abundance this life and life to come. Thank you, faithful Father. In Jesus' precious name, amen. Be blessed of God. See you in the course of the week. Don't forget to join us 
in our prophetic fast of the seventh month. It's of the fourth month. Sorry, I'm ahead of the year. <laughs> of the of the fourth month of the month of April. It's a seven day prayer day and fasting. Join us. Join us from Wednesday in intercession, and uh, on Sunday will be the climax. God bless you and prosper you. See you on Wednesday. Be blessed. Thank you.